What's up, fellas? It's the next day. This thing's been out here all night, and it did pressure back up a little bit. I'm surprised this bag sat here all night. I do have somewhat of a pretty cool idea. Might be a dumb one. I'm thinking about um, hooking this balloon up to the vacuum pump and um, lighten the other end on fire as it's drawing the gas out of that bag. Just to kind of get a visual perspective of how much energy is there, you know, we got to see the energy, right? You can't see the energy when it's just sitting there in a bag. So not that I just want to play with fire or nothing, but this is totally for science. Here's the test setup that we're going to use to observe the amount of energy in this bag. I'm going to use a bubbler and this vacuum pump to draw the hydrogen out of the bag and we're going to set it on fire. I have earplugs on and some safety glasses so if things get a little loud I should be okay. I'm going to hook this up and we're going to light it on fire and see what happens. This should be pretty cool. Okay I'm pulling hydrogen out of the bag. I want to get some of that air out of the system first. That's scary sounding. Sounds like it's burning inside the tank. Pretty cool. Look how long this bag is gonna burn. I need some specimens to heat up with to see how hot this thing gets, and I don't have anything at hand. There's the bag. Okay, everything seems okay. I'm not burning down inside the tube. So I think we're all right so far. Let me get a couple pieces of metal. And I don't have anything. I have a nail. Hydrogen has a very poor heat capacity, so I don't expect anything too amazing. I would assume there's obviously some oxygen in this. But the flame just looks oxygenated. Yeah, nothing too amazing there. Nothing worth bothering with anyway. I'm not gonna sit there and hold a nail in the fire. It's just a strange sound to it. That, that sound is the frequency of the air compressor. Let's try something here. This may make it look worse. Yeah, I need something black. I need about 80 million less watts in here. Okay, I had to stop there for like two seconds. Half the size of the bag. I'm worried the bag might crimp itself. That may happen. I need to lay this bag in such a way that the hydrogen stays available to the spout there. So I'm going to set that there. Because if you've ever seen a vacuum pump that works on a bag, it will block itself off. That's the flow rate of this burn. I need to find like a wire. I mean, I can feel the heat coming off of that thing though. I need to find something black for the background.
I need to find out the this background piece here. And I don't have anything left. That's the size of the bag. I need to turn on this little light. Do a little trade here. See if that's any better. Yeah, I'm going to turn the other lights on for a minute. I just wanted to get a decent look. Hopefully we'll still be able to see it. No, not really. A black piece of paper or something. What we got going on here? Yeah. Wow. Good business. Looks like I'm getting a little bit more water than I would want to be inside the pump here, which is not good. Yeah, I'm sucking a lot of water in the pump. That ain't good at all. Uh, that's really kind of worrying me. It's just about out of gas here. We're getting down to the end of it. There it goes. I hope it don't blow the hell up on me or something. <laughs> Shit, it won't go out either. I'm going to pinch it out. Hopefully I'll be okay. There we go. She's done. It's still pumping a tiny bit out of there. But that flame was just getting dangerously small. I'll just cut that back off is what I'll do. I was worried it was going to travel inside there and blow the hell up. It's still drawing some gas out of that thing. Tell you what, just for the sake of uh, observation, I'll open this back up and we'll turn it back on. See how much longer it'll pull gas out of the bag there. You know what? It's probably taking an air at this point. This is not a completely sealed off bag. Yeah, we're shutting down. That's probably just air. Crap. So I need to leave this thing sit here and just run for hours and hours now to try to boil all that water out of there I just took in. Actually, I might even just go ahead and drain it. I don't want to mess this thing up. I use this for a lot of experiments. Probably be a good idea to just drain the oil at this point. After getting that water in there. So, we've seen that. That was pretty cool. Um, I was expecting three foot flames. You know, feathery, you know, <laughs> all that kind of thing. I think what may have been happening is my system was leaking air somewhere making a bit of a mixture you know maybe right here we're leaking some air in that didn't look like a pure hydrogen flame to me boys that looked like uh definitely had a lot of oxygen in it it was kind of cool how invisible it was so let's open this thing up and the first thing i'm going to do when i open it up is figure out the volumetric capacity of the gas chamber. Meaning like at the water lines here, I wanna know what that volumetric chamber was because when we figure that out, we can use that information to, to determine the actual liters of gas that were liberated in the reaction. And we'll use that by using the effective pressure equations, which is where you use atmospheric pressure as a ledger, uh, as a ratio tool or a slide rule, so to say, to determine the volume of gas in a pressurized cylinder. So this ought to be cool opening this up. I'm kind of interested to know what's inside, what the condition of the aluminum is, and how much sodium aluminate we have. 